Uh, hi, I'm Mike Evans and founder of the Activist Army and Activist Training and Activist Tools. And one of the biggest questions I get is what makes me qualified to make an Activist Army and make these Activist Tools. And this is a quick overview of some of the stuff that I've done in the past. This was a peace parade that I put together in opposition to the first Gulf War Bush Victory Parade, whereby in the past, the communists would run tanks down Red Square. And I just felt it was such an uh, un-American thing for Bush to run these huge tanks down American streets. It just wasn't something we did. And so my strategy was to make the peace parade the day before Bush's uh, victory parade, so it ended up on the front page here. Now, this is one of our frenemies, uh, Henry Kissinger, uh, who I got to meet and tried to push some of my ideas on. This is me in Cuba the day after Obama made it legal for Americans to go. Now, this is a very long story, which I will tell at a different time. I actually sno stole a credential, snuck into the White House, and while there, got a job working for Hillary Clinton. So um, I'll go into that in a little bit further. Uh, this is a Burning Man event in Washington, D.C., where I'm doing some um, DJing. This is Oprah and I backstage at the Daytime Emmys. Now, this is a one-man play that I did that was about my whole story of coming of age as a political activist and some of the crazy things that I did. Uh, I was done at the Mint Theater uh, for four weeks and the Crane Theater for four weeks with uh, Broadway director Timothy Crane. Um, this is Ice-T and Coco, who... Um, we're at another event tied to the um, play. This is the His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who I was honored to meet when I was working in the White House. This is a scene from the film I starred in with Robert Downey Jr. called The Last Party, which I'll show you a little bit uh, more in just a moment. Uh, this is Robert Downey Jr. and I. This is another TV show I was in. And this is a scene from the film Natural Born Killers by Oliver Stone, which I was also in with Robert Downey Jr. Um, this is some of my work in the New York Times. And then back to the Peace Parade. This is a film called Feed, that's Pat Buchanan. Um, that's a shot that I was in there. And this is uh, Dr. Stephen Hawking and I at the World Science Festival. I got a moment or two to chat with him. I also did a one-man play off-Broadway explaining this whole process. Um, and these are the six Hollywood films that I was in. Twilight of the Dogs, The Last Party, Natural Born Killers, Feed, The War Room with George Stephanopoulos, and... Uh, some others, and then the other film there is Pelican Brief. Now, um, these are some of the famous people I made a decision to put myself in front of to try to learn as much as I could from. This is Jane Watson, Discover DNA. This is um, Tom, Joka, uh, Tom Brokaw, NBC news correspondent who's actually a real jerk in person if you ever meet him. Um, this is one of my heroes and one of my mother's greatest heroes, uh, Gloria Steinem, the founder of Ms. Magazine. Uh, this is a bunch of us in Cuba two days after they made it legal for Americans to go. This is Brie Olson, some of you may know, who was in a... Um, uh, different type of business and got out and became a um, personal speaker. This is the person that founded the Singularity University. This, of course, is the famous Dr. Cornel West, Deepak Chopra, 
uh, Michael Moore and I marching to the Occupy Wall Street event. Uh, that was um, Ralph Lauren. This was a band I was in uh, in the 90s. It was called the Fuck Orchestra. It was more of a noise band, kind of a joke that we uh, did. And um, that puts that all together. Now, here is the, uh, the film. Now, what was going on there, that was uh, a bunch of Hollywood stars, and they were the Creative Coalition, that's Christian Slater, Billy Baldwin, and then uh, there's Richard Merrick, uh, Richard Masrick there, who was in that show One Day at a Time, uh, there, and then Jane Fonda's daughter. Now, a lot of these people are Hollywood actors, and they, of course, don't know a thing about politics, and I knew exactly who they were, but I wasn't about to stand down to them, and I just screamed right at them. And then um, Dally and I uh, had a rapport on film. So they showed a cut of the screening to some kids, and they said, we don't care about Downey. We want to see more of this Mike Evans character. So that's how I ended up in this film called The Last Party, and then followed him into the other films that he did which were the last um which was oliver stone's natural born killers uh and some others so that's kind of a brief overview of the mike evans story and as we go further i'll give you some um much more in depth and uh much more uh activist activities that i took that i'm going to teach that are going to train you to beat Trump. That is the main thing we're trying to do. Mike Evans, Activist Army, over and out.